So today I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel filter on your M998 Hummer. So as we go down by the oil dipstick here, you can see the canister that houses the filter elements and also wa uh, works as a water separator. Now the first step is to remove this canister. Once we have it removed, we want to pull it apart and either clean or replace the elements inside. Um, down there is your drain hose for the water separator. You'll want to remove that. You'll want to remove those two hoses right there. One feeds fuel into the canister and the other one uh, feeds the uh, fuel pump and the injection pump. So the last thing, once you have all three of those hoses removed, is to remove that bolt, pull that bracket apart, and pull a canister out of there. Don't forget as well to unhook that wiring harness, which plugs into the top right there. So I was able to take the filter canister off right here, and I'm using coffee cans and other various instruments to hold it in place there. So once you take these three bolts out, you can then take the cap off and we'll just set that over there and here keep her nice and clean and inside you'll see your filter so what I ended up finding was a failed fuel filter and a plug screen um, as you can see when I pulled the filter out uh, that gap right there caused dirt and debris to get uh, through the filter and ended up clogging my fine debris screen, well, probably about 95% there. So what I'll be doing is very carefully cleaning that screen up and inspecting it, making sure there's no integrity issues. And then the filter itself, I have a replacement coming from Mac Motorsports and I'll be replacing that. Now here's the canister with the filter taken out. Um, you can see in the bottom there the water separator unit and here's the paper filter. Um, I like to insert the filter with uh, white numbers facing up so that way if I need to I can read them without, um, yeah right when I take the lid off. Uh, here's a replacement screen that I got with it. Um, the integrity was bad on my last one so I thought I'd replace it. It wasn't worth going through injectors or a pump. Now this o-ring here I lubricated before I put it on. This new o-ring came with a filter. You'll want to replace that o-ring and make sure it's well lubed so you don't have any leaks. Now on that side you can see the notch in the canister and the notch in the lid. All you do is line these notches up and your bolt hole should be really close. You might need to twist a little bit. Um, and just torque the bolts to 6 foot-pounds and you will be set. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Any additional information, links to tools or parts that I use will be provided in the description. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.